first, an appeal or prayer for evil or misfortune to befall someone or something. Welcome to Super Mario Bros. Extreme Edition. Or as it's otherwise known as, Mario Collection. I couldn't think of a more clever title myself. I swear I've seen this box art in a nightmare I once had. Talk about graphics design being someone's passion. Just a random mishmash of Mario art. We got Luigi's Mansion next to Super Mario 64, next to Yoshi's Island. There's Bowser's Brawl Render just hanging out for no reason. And is that a Yoshi pyramid? Oh, and that font! Mwah! Calibri! It's just like a mama used to make! And here are a handful of games that we can expect to... experience. Mario Kart! More specifically, Super Circuit, according to this image. Mario's early year- or, excuse me. Mario S. Early Years hyphen press. This one says Mario's time machine, but is next to a Luigi's Mansion image. Like, that wasn't even close. You had one job! Ugh, I'm already drained from this bootleg, and we've only looked at the box art! But out of all of the cursed things we've seen so far, the most cursed fact is that we are about to play a Mario game on a PlayStation 2. Forgive me, Father Reggie! Alright, let's start this bad boy up! Let's turn this bad boy off! This thing doesn't even care that it sucks. Yada yada yada, don't steal games, which is hilarious coming from you! SNES Station is free software. If you bought this software, then you have been ripped off! Let me tell you something, the fact that this game exists and it's taking up time in my life already makes me feel ripped off! So this is essentially... the E word. You know... emulator but one that was apparently made by Swedes, if this text is to go by anything. I sure do love this epic 90s techno music. And by that, I mean I absolutely hate it. I guess let's just play some games now. No point in delaying the inevitable. Let's play Mario! Just... just Mario. Oh my gosh, are you okay, game? Why does it sound like this? It sounds like a Sega Genesis trying to throw up, but it's a Nintendo game. On a PlayStation 2, I'm so confused right now. So yeah, god-awful audio aside, this is just Super Mario World, but on a PlayStation. Weird how only the audio suffered, but the visuals and controls are still really solid. That's all I really have to say. Oh man, Mario's Early Years, a game with voice acting. Well, hey, maybe they cleaned up the audio and fixed it. Nope, definitely gonna be hearing this in my nightmares. So as it turns out, a lot of these games are just ports of Super Nintendo Mario games, but butchered in the audio department. I don't know where exactly this bootleg came from. I guess let's just say Russia. Any objections? This gives off Russian vibes, right? But oh my goodness, thank the lord they added my favorite Mario game, Donkey Kong Country 2. Why this one? This stands out like a Diddy Kong in a Sonic convention. What? Yeah, kind of random, but hey, I'll take it. Donkey Kong Country 2 is a fun game. However, since this is a weird emulator, we got some bootlegs to check out. Because why wouldn't we? Here's a game called Superboy 4, featuring seizures. Now what happened to Superboy 1 through 3? I don't know, probably the same thing that happened with Donkey Kong Country 1 and 3. Okay, I see. So Superboy is a super bootleg. It's your typical 2D side-scroller that uses a lot of Super Mario World assets. Koopas, blocks, pipes, dragons, guy in red with hat. It's clearly a Mario knockoff, but at least this one sounds functional. Which normally isn't impressive, but on this disc, it's a gift from God himself. 
This game's weird, because I wouldn't exactly call it bad, but I definitely wouldn't call it good either. It's just a solid, yet overall pretty forgettable side-scroller. Using Mario assets definitely doesn't help its case either. Although, I do love the angry mushroom enemies. They're pretty hilarious and cute. Like, aww, are you trying to threaten me? The level structure is also weird. Level 1 is your typical outdoorsy fun level, but then level 2 is a spooky, fiery dungeon. Like, come on, man, you gotta ease me into this stuff. Don't just throw me into the castle. And the final level is this random, forgettable forest, with the final boss being... Kermit the Frog. Wow, we did it. Was that me the whole time? The end. Oh my gosh, what the heck are you? Is this a creepypasta? I don't like where this is going. No, oh, I missed 10 seconds ago when I didn't know that this existed. No offense. This broken down piece of garbage has the worst selection of games I've ever seen. They somehow even put on the Super Mario's Wacky Worlds beta. Which, if you don't know, a Super Mario World sequel was planned to be on the CDI. You know, that successful console. It never happened, and instead, we got... No. However, a beta was made and released to the public like 10 years later. It's nothing special considering, while it is interesting, it is just a beta. But the fact it's on a bootleg PlayStation 2 disc just hurts me even more somehow. Like, they couldn't even put in a crappy bootleg or Mario game with awful sound. No, instead they gave us a barely playable beta. But at least they were kind enough to give us Lesbian Vampire Killer World 5000. Where would we be without it? Also, what? Yep, das macht doch als überhaupt. I... Why, why do I even try? Calling all Germans. So I guess the plot of this game is that Mario is looking for female-loving females who are also vampires to slay. Why not? Weird concept aside, the atmosphere is really good. The color palettes and lighting really give off that Halloween vampire spooky atmosphere. There, I said one good thing about this game. Um, what else do we have? Yoshi Safari! A game I physically cannot play because you can't hook up a Super Scope to the PlayStation 2! Remember how it said at the beginning, if you paid for this, you were ripped off? Well, I paid for it! Granted, it was only $5, but still! I paid money for this! Great. I really, really appreciate it. Apparently, there were two different releases of this bootleg, if you can believe that. There was a good version, and I use that with the most hardcore air quotes, and a crappy version. Guess which one I got. Seriously, I want you to guess. All guesses in? I got the good one! Yeah, it hurts to think that there's a version out there worse than this! The only difference that I can find between the two discs is that the bad version only comes with the official Mario games. Basically everything on the back of the box. Excluding Luigi's Mansion, which doesn't show up anywhere, and yes, that still upsets me and I will sue you over this! While the good version comes loaded with some random extra games that we've checked out. Both versions have the awful title screen, butchered music, and cursed box arts, but they're both cursed in their own special ways. So the good version isn't even that good, just a handful of extra games. We literally have looked at every game on this thing that wasn't just a official Super Nintendo Mario game. Well, that's not true. I guess there is one last game to check out. One final game that, if good, can honestly salvage this entire bootleg nightmare. And that mystical game is... NBA All-Star Challenge. A random freaking basketball game! That's what was tucked away behind all this random menu scrolling and selecting? So, uh, how is it? Holy crap, it's amazing! I'm not a fan of sports games by any means, but NBA All-Stars nails the feel of shooting three-pointers, layups, and I just feel like an actual NBA player. Oh, and that music! 
It has no right to be this good. Mario Bros. Extreme is a 10 out of 10. Wow. This bootleg was so bad that it just made me praise a basketball game. What the heck did we just play? Super Mario Bros. Extreme Edition is extreme alright. An extremely bad piece of crap! Like why? Why only Super Nintendo Mario games? Why do they sound so broken and awful? Why the 90s techno music? Why only Donkey Kong Country 2? Why no Luigi's Mansion? And why this box art? Seriously, I will never get over this. Someone looked at this and said, yeah, that's good. Print it. Graphics design was obviously a passion of his, while bootlegs are mine. However, after this nightmare of a game, I think I have to take a break. I'm sorry. No more bootlegs for a while. Okay, break's over.